if it isn't another group of wayward travelers seeking shelter from the storm. And in my cave, I wouldn't mind so much if those pesky little mortals didn't make so much noise carrying on about how damp and cold it is in here. Then again, we don't all have our own personal fires. Oh, it seems one of them has lost their way. It's not often I get such an appetizing visitor. Puny things, never quite satisfying. Besides, this one seems harmless. And they're tired, so I doubt they'll put up much of a fight. And that's never fun. Therefore, there's no sense of trying to appear scary. Does my appearance enough will be surprising? I'll simply lie here and wait for them. I see those eyes lighting up. I bet they've never seen so many jewels and coins in their entire life. Judging by those clothes they're wearing, they come from a very poor village. One that would benefit from a large charitable donation. Of course, I could just let them pick a few pieces to take home. What harm would that do? On the other hand, what if that only encourages more humans to come and steal my treasure? What? You've never seen a dragon before? I suppose not. There aren't a lot of us left because of you humans. Oh, there was a time, long ago, where we lived peacefully among them, where we protected their villages from invaders, and in return, they worshipped us, treated us like we were the most divine creations. But now, they have every intention of wiping us out, driving us from our homeland. And apparently, dragon scales are worth more than gold in this age. That armor you're wearing, a dragon gave up his life for it. He would have lived hundreds, if not thousands of years, if another war hadn't started. That's always the way. Every conflict has to be resolved with swords, shields, and bloodshed. Whatever happened to the power and value of words? But there's no point of reasoning with you humans, is there? Yes. I see you want no part in this war. But you will fight to protect those you care about. I admire your loyalty. But the question is, are your friends willing to do the same? Chis or one of them may turn on you. Or maybe you and your company are one of the few who are not so easily corrupted by gold or land. Who is it between this time? North versus South? East versus West, men versus beast. Either way, it all ends at death. And if you die, the dragon's sacrifice will have been wasted. Look at you. You're shaking like a leaf clinging to the branch. Here. Come close. Not to worry. 
I'm not going to eat you. You'd be nothing more than a piece of meat stuck between my teeth. If they really want to eat, I'll simply fly out to the lake and grab some fish. Or maybe a tasty eel. Though I might risk being seen. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Offering to hunt for me. But I can manage perfectly well on my own. And I bet your friends wouldn't agree to let you stay here with me, would they? I can sense that your leader is very wise and very protective of you. More than they are of the others. If I didn't know any better, I'd assume that they had feelings for you. You do realize that I've lived a thousand years, don't you? I know love when I see it. There's no greater strength in this world than that between two people whose hearts, minds, and souls are one. And I suspect you feel the same way? Hmm? No. And if you don't, why the sudden blush on your cheeks? And don't give me the whole it's warm in here excuse because you were perfectly fine until now. Very well, we'll drop the topic. For now. See? Isn't that better? I pity you for not being able to breathe fire. It took me a few hundred years to learn it myself. In no time at all, I went from lighting campfires to being capable of destroying entire towns. Not that I would do that. There's still some hope for your kind. A small thread. Was that a yawn? You must be pretty tired. Something tells me you haven't slept in weeks. Is it because of all the gallivanting you've been doing? No? Then, is it perhaps because you have bad dreams? Nightmares, as you call them? See, dragons don't dream as often as humans do. But when we do, they reveal to us what has happened and what could happen. We call those visions. Have I ever had a vision? Well, I suppose in a way, I knew you and your company were coming. Though was I... <laughs> I was unsure of the purpose. But now... I can sense that it's of great importance. And you will fight nobly. Very well. You may stay here for a little while longer. Just until the storm ends. Or your friends decide to leave. Whichever comes first. Though who in their right mind would go walking in this storm? They would have to be insane. I 
Are you comfortable? Here. Let me open up my wing a little. And you can come underneath. See? It's just like a blanket. Our wings are soft underneath. Very delicate. <laughs> Sleep well, human.